Alright, so in this video I'll show you how to sign up for a WordPress.com blog and it's really simple. So again, go to WordPress.com and you'll see a page like this that has a lot of highlighted blogs and maybe yours will get highlighted and trust me that will bring in a lot of new readers and new subscribers. So let's go to the sign up now page and it asks for a couple things. First of all is the username and so let's label it website training hub all right so one thing to keep in mind with your username it has to be at least four characters and lowercase letters and numbers so uh, if you want to have you know uppercase that'll just limit you a little bit but just put lowercase there once you put in all your information and that you have read and agreed the to the terms of service click next and there we go. There is my website, websitetraininghub.wordpress.com. And so you can visit uh, Website Training Hub's blog, and it's in English. It gives you three options for privacy. First of all, it can be public, so anybody, uh, including search engines like Google, Bing, and the public can see it. It can block search engines but allow normal visitors, and it can make it private. For right now, I'm just going to make mine private. You can choose what fits best for you. Now again, I can't stress the importance that this WordPress.com is super simple and easy, but I would only recommend it for personal use. I wouldn't recommend it for your business, for you know whether it's a small business, a large business, anything. It just doesn't look professional having you know your name .wordpress.com is your website. So you can update your profile by clicking some information here and click save. So this will email me some information within about 30 minutes. We'll check back and pick up this training right where we left off. All right, so here we go. I got an email from WordPress and I can click on the blog here but I have to click this link to activate it. So again, you have to click the link to activate your WordPress.com website. So I went ahead and clicked that link, and there we go. There is my WordPress or my website training hub username. Let's visit my site. All right, so the first thing I have to do is I have to log in to my blog. All right, so you have to use the same username and password as when you signed up. So once you enter that, click Login. And here we go. Here is my WordPress.com blog and website. And you'll see right here it says my, my name here. Okay, so if, that, if you put in your personal name, it'll say, you know, Joe Johnson's blog. And you can scroll down, and it already gives you one post. Gives you some information in the sidebar, and we'll go through all that information about how to add content and make changes to your new WordPress.com blog.